In today's video then guys, we shall be taking a look at the 2011 animated Christmas movie, Arthur Christmas, with lots and lots of big names, so without further ado, let's get into this review. You go, you So I thought then that this movie was quite a good uh, animated Christmas movie as it showed the burning questions that many kids want to know and many people want to know and that is how can Father Christmas deliver presents in one night to all the world and many people would say it's impossible but this movie proves otherwise as this takes us on a, on, on a journey of showing us how Father Christmas is able to deliver these presents. And it's in not a sleigh anymore, it's in this big-ass ship. And he's just delivering them all in that and using his elves to help deliver the presents, not just Father Christmas. Because they, they in this movie, don't just help to make the presents, but they also have this sort of spy agency which helps deliver the presents with Santa. And, yeah... It answers a lot of burning questions in that retrospect and acts as a good Santa movie. And to me, I felt that, that this animated movie probably suited more kid style things, but it did have a lot of things to love about this movie. The likes of what I mentioned about how the it answers the burning questions of Santa and how he delivers all these presents in one night. And also the fact that what happens if a present is missed? And in this case, the Santa... And obviously Steve wanted to just leave it and make sure that this girl leaves without a present at Christmas. And obviously the magic of Christmas is that everyone gets the present on time. And that's what Arthur was trying to do. And he delivered the present. And that's what this movie is. And that's what I like about this movie is the fact that the Christmas magic. And what I mentioned about Christmas magic in Love Actually, that it was different. It was all about love. Whereas this one is the Christmas magic that I mentioned in Love Actually. And that is the fact that this movie is filled full of it. As it all relies upon Arthur being able to deliver this bike which was missed by the Santas. The Santas were all celebrating thinking that they'd delivered all the presents. But this one was left and they was going to leave it and pretend that they'd delivered it. In which would have been wrong. And obviously Arthur Christmas who embodies the true Santa. In which is that he wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that this kid woke up on Christmas without that toy next to her or waiting for her when she wakes up. And to me, that was important thing to think about is that Santa hates missing a child out and hates that sort of thing. And um, I thought Arthur really, really uh, elevated himself in this particular movie as his character development was magnificent. As we saw at the beginning of the movie, he was just a guy writing letters in the name of Santa to being Santa. And to me, that progression was over time as we saw him embodying parts of the roles and learning part of the roles along this movie, hoping not to be Santa, but just to be perform this thing because nobody else would. The real Santa weren't going out there, which was his father. He weren't going out and delivering this present. And to me... That showed to me that they really did something cool there with Arthur as, as he now is taking on those responsibilities. Be and, and I obviously expected him to become Santa at the end of the movie because he really showed that you shouldn't miss a child out and that it, it is wrong to do that. And Steve, who is also Santa's son, which is the eldest, he was trying to persuade Father Christmas to, to leave it and drop it. It's only one present. However, that's why Arthur stepped in and delivered the present because he could not let that happen. On this point of Santa movies as well, as, as I think that Santa movies are incredible and some of the best mo Christmas movies that you can think of. However, I personally think that there is far too many. However, this one works because it was very unique in the sense that we find out how Father Christmas would be able to deal with a problem of a missing present uh, well not father christmas but arthur in this retrospect of how they would deal with a missing present and that's why i think that this stands out again from the rest as it's slightly different from the likes of santa claus it is slightly different from the likes of 34 miracle on 34th street the likes of santa who is far different from those names and even though i think that 
this movie isn't the best Christmas movie of all time. It has that unique uniqueness of a fresh story. And it's animated. And to me, this animated movie is probably high in my listings of high of animated Christmas movies. Because there isn't that many. There's Polar Express, there's Arthur Christmas, the Snowman, the Snow Dog, the Father Christmas. That is about it for animated Christmas movies. And there might be one or two others that I've forgot to mention. However, those are the main ones. And to me, as soon as you get through those, there's not many others. And due to the sheer lack of animated Christmas movies, I think this is probably one of the better ones. Even though it could have been a lot better, in my personal opinion, as it feels a lot more for kids, this, this uh, movie. And it's mostly for those non-believers to start believing in Santa again. As it shows actually he can deliver all these presents and he's a very realistic sort of point of view of a santa being able to deliver these presents and being able to um deliver this present by the time this child wakes up and it made a lot of sense i also want to mention how good the actors and actresses were we need to give the flowers to the people that were also amazing as this movie wouldn't have been anywhere near good enough without these people who were the standouts. I, I think the stand I'm just gonna go over the standouts first. I thought the standouts were like Sir James and McAvoy who played Arthur, the likes of Jim Broadbent that played Santa, as they really stood out in my opinion. Jim Broadbent, his voice is phenomenal and easily recognizable, whatever role you hear him in, and you're like, oh that's Jim Broadbent. And to me, he's phenomenal. He's a great actor and he's in some incredible movies and brings his experience to the roles he plays. And he was a great casting for Santa Claus as he sounded the part and he sounded like what Santa would sound like in that retrospect. And I think that he was a great, a great person to play this role. And to me, I don't think there would have been anybody else that could have played that role as good as he did in this way. I'm not saying he's the best Santa Claus they could have got, but I'm saying in this scenario, in this movie, I think he's the best person to play Santa Claus as, as the voiceover. If it was a live action version of a Santa Claus, obviously I would go for someone like Tim Allen. However, since it's a voiceover, and I know Tim Allen does voiceovers as well, but I think as a voiceover, someone different and somebody who's quite wise and experienced, Jim Broadbent is the perfect actor to play that that character now and James McAvoy was also phenomenal as the character of Arthur as he gave the voice uh phenomenally and he gave this character something different the voice was phenomenal and yeah he's just a great actor this movie also had the likes of Imelda Stoughton, Hugh, Hugh Laurie, several other key names like Mark Wooten, Ashley Jensen just to name a few that really added to the, the, the cast. I wouldn't say star-studded. I would say there's a lot of gap fillers like Mark Wooten. But he did an exception, exceptional job. And to me, I just thought that these all came together and created a unique movie. I wouldn't say it's brilliant. But I would say that it's a lot different from some of the other movies around Christmas time. Which are all samey, samey, Santa, Santa. And this one stands out a little bit more. Because it's about a present that has been missed. To summarise this act, this animation Christmas movie in a nutshell. I think this is a 7.1 out of 10 on a world cost film. Because of the sheer lack of animation movies around Christmas out there. And I think this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, along with likes of Polar Express. I think Polar Express is top. And then this one's probably around second. However, it's a decent little movie. So... If you've enjoyed this video guys then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted to all the new content that this channel creates and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I shall see you guys in the next one. Laters.